And welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. I'm a psychic, a medium, a channel, and I am ready to get this show started. So a couple quick messages before I get on with callers and answering questions. First one, I'm on every single Monday at noon, unless I'm traveling, because they won't let me do the show from a plane. Why? I'm kidding. <laughs> Joking. Okay. Second, um, every single Monday at noon for a minimum of 30 minutes. I try to keep it to that 30 minutes, spot because um, this show does air, this is second, does air on WSCS, um, Roku, and a number of other uh, streaming channels. So the time frame is that 28 and a half to 29 minute mark, which I always go over. So if you're watching the beginning of this show and you don't get to see the end of it, you can go to my YouTube station and see it on my YouTube station. Okay. Third, I'm on most Wednesdays for a second show, which is Relationship Wednesday. So if you have specific relationship questions, please call in on Wednesday and I'll be happy to answer those Oh, questions for you. The energy is on today. <clears throat> so we had a full moon on the 18th, and it was the longest full moon of the year, and it was the last full moon of the year. And let me tell you, people were intense this past weekend. Intense good, intense bad, just intense. If you're wondering why everybody was intense this past weekend. It might have something to do with the full moon. Okay. I want to thank everybody watching on YouTube and commenting commenting on YouTube. I'm going to start taking callers. Um, <clears throat> if I call your area code, please have a specific question or connection available. And put your phone off of speaker and off of headphones to make sure that we have the best possible connection. Okay. Um, and you get one question. So make your question count. Don't ask me a question and then say, oh, but what I really wanted to know. Then ask what you really want to know. Because there's a lot of people waiting online for answers. And I'm going to have to get to the next person. So don't play around with your questions. Don't expect me to guess what you want. I'm psychic, but I'm not going to spend 10 minutes trying to figure out your most important answer in this moment when you probably have about seven questions you could ask me. So know what you want to ask and ask it. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, have a very specific name of a loved one and your relationship to them. And if you have a question, ask that question right away. Okay, here we go to the first caller, area code 860. 860, how can I help you today? Hi, thank you so much for taking my call. Um, I'm just curious, um, what do you see uh, in the new year for my career and my love life? Okay, we're going to pick one of those. What's the most important thing to you? Now, let me let me just say for you and anybody else listening, if you have a lot of questions or you want to know about a lot of areas of your life, that's awesome. I'd love to help you with that in a private session. Um, right now on air, I take one specific question, and I think that's pretty darn generous of me. So, okay, which one is most important? I think my career. Okay, and... Okay, so the first thing I'm hearing, um, can I please ask your first name? Um, yes, my first name is Ritu. Okay, the first thing I'm hearing is there's going to be a move for you at work. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to move to another company. This can mean a move within your company. And then I hear the word up. So I feel like you're going to get a promotion, but it might feel like a lateral move to you, meaning they're giving you a new title, but a lot of the same work. Um, but, but as long as 
better pay comes with it, we're good, right? I do feel like there is something <laughs> brand new coming in for you at work. Now, it's interesting because I'm hearing two things. I'm hearing you could branch off on your own. Okay, I am hearing that. And maybe there's something you want to do on the side or you've been thinking, maybe you haven't even been thinking of branching off on your own. Maybe you haven't thought about that as a possibility, but I'm going to, I'm just going to say this for you and everybody listening. Everybody wants to hit that next tax bracket. Everybody wants to hit those numbers. Sometimes we just can't do that working for someone else. Sometimes we have to get up and get out on our own to hit the numbers we want to hit as far as income and savings. Um, and if we do the thing we're most afraid of in life, sometimes it will bring our biggest dreams true, make our biggest dreams come true. Okay, having said that, we don't have to quit our day job to start our, our own thing. Now, I don't know why all these messages are coming through for you. They are, so I'm giving them. I do feel like there is the possibility for you to branch off on your own. And I feel like if you don't do that in 2022, you're probably going to do it in 2023. And it might, it, it, it's something that's going to, I'm hearing it's going to surprise you is, or it's going to take you by surprise when you end up doing it. Now, you might say to me, and I get it, you might say to me, I don't have a career that I can do off on my own. I would object to that because any career we have, we can do on our own. Okay? Any career. We can become a contractor. We can start our own business. We can. But this might be something that you're not necessarily aware of right now or you're not aware of how you would start it off on your own right now but you are I feel like there is a very powerful potential for you to do something on your own a business a business on your own I also feel like in 2022 there's going to be promotion for you now is the promotion within your business I hear yes I like that. I hear a yes on that. Um, and But I feel like at the end of the day, is that going to be enough for you? I'm not sure. That's something you have to decide. But I do feel like you're going to take the promotion. I feel like that might come around. I hear April and I hear June. So something might come around in April and then something else is going to come around that June, July time. I'm just going to tell you, I do not know why I'm hearing this. Every time I talk about this promotion, they go ahead and they slide in this possibility of you going off on your own. Now, whatever that means for you, whenever that comes in, really seriously look at it. Seriously look at it. Seriously because they wouldn't be saying this if this wasn't something that was pertinent and important for you to consider. Okay, love? Okay, okay. That makes sense. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. I, I really, really, really hope this was um, helpful, even though you might not know what I'm talking about at this time. <laughs> it was. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I hope I get to hear from you again. I'm going to go directly to the next, <clears throat> excuse me, please. I'm going to go to the next caller, 256. 256, how can I help you today? I don't want to. No. All right, yeah. Take that nonsense someplace else. Whatever's going on there, that's, that's pure nonsense, folks. What's that about, right? <laughs> Let's go to 630. 630, how can I help you? <laughs> Hi, thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. What's your name? Um, Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Dion, and I'm calling from Wisconsin. Excellent. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. Um, how can I help you today, Dion? Um, okay, so I am looking to sue a lawyer 
and his law firm for um, interference of inheritance. Do you have um, any any information that would help me find the right lawyer to take my case? Okay, so um, the first thing I hear is you also have to go for negligence. Negligence is pertinent. In this case, the word negligence is very pertinent. You have to go through the Bar Association. Um, and I do feel like the lawyer that you are going to use practices both in a, a neighboring state and in this state. I do feel like whichever lawyer you choose, they primarily practice, let's just say in Illinois and in Wisconsin, but primarily in Illinois. Um, and I do feel like, uh, what part, may I please ask, what part of Wisconsin are you calling from? Okay, so I'm from Illinois, and the case is actually based in Illinois, so okay. you're right there. Excellent. I'm in Lake Geneva. Okay. Oh, I, I just, I love Lake Geneva so much. Oh my goodness. I love being there in the summer. It's so nice. Okay. So here's what I'm getting. If this case is in Illinois, you need an attorney that practices both in Wisconsin and in Illinois. And the, the, the primary place they practice is in Wisconsin, but they have the, the, uh, you know, the one thing that I heard about Illinois court systems is that they are very, 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 very um, corrupt. They're, and don't come at me. I, I, correct. I've heard this from no, that's correct. I mean, yeah. so many people, even no, attorneys. I've heard it from attorneys. So in this case, the first thing you want to do is you, I'm going to tell you something, what you need to do here. You need to go to the, and a lot of people will look at this as a lot of work, but if you want to get done what you need to get done, you need to go to the, um, what is it called? The attorney general or the, the state attorney, the state attorney. I, I've, I've done that. Okay. I did that already. And but then, I wrote a whole book about this and, and self-published it about the corrupt lawsuits and everything like that. Now I'm just after just getting my money back from the lawyer who did all this. But I do know what you're saying. I, I reported it to... I've been working to FBI and they didn't even care. I mean, yeah. I went every... <laughs> everywhere, you know. Okay, so what... You, again, the Bar Association and make sure... Okay, so when you report this, you have to bring, here's the thing that uh, it's very emotional. And we, we think that if we put our emotion in it, it's going to affect people and make them want to look at it more. Not always. You have to be very factual about this. You have to be very, um, these are the facts. Here's the evidence. End of the story. So when you report this to places, you have to just state the facts, okay? Um, the attorney you're going to use is primarily in, is able to practice in both states, but primarily here, but understands the way the court system works there. And the reason you need somebody who works in both states is because I feel like, you know, what I'm hearing here is the attorney that did this they're part of the old boys network and they know a lot of attorneys, the good attorneys won't go against them. So you, I do know of some, I do know of some attorneys that might be able to give you a, actually a great deal of my, some of my, my best male friends are attorneys and I can give you the number of one of them that will um, be able to give you, a, if they can't help you, they'll be able to give you a referral to somebody that might be able to help you because sometimes you just need that person that can get you to the right person. So I'll, I'll if you text me 8974148972869, um, uh, um, I will text you back one of their numbers so they can get you to the right person. Okay, love? Fantastic. Thank you for all your help.
Oh, I appreciate you. Thank Absolutely, you. my pleasure. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 504. 504, how can I help you? Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm calling specifically about either an, uh, a memory or an event that's either happened this lifetime or another that's creating my blockages to manifest or clearly speak to the other realm and clearly, because nothing is coming in clearly. And so that's my question. Okay, is your question, did it happen in this life or the past life? Or is your question, is this going to no. be released? The event or memory that is creating this blockage. Okay, that's a statement. What's the question? There's a memory or an to, event. No, I'm at, that's the question. A is, memory or event. What is the memory or event? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to know what the memory or event that is creating your blockage is? That is... That it, what that memory or, or, or event is, is creating the blockages for me to manifest. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say, because you say manifest, and then you say connect with the spiritual realm. Those are two different things. So, and then you, I, I, I know that this is probably something with me that is not comprehending what you're, I'm sorry, I'm giggling when I get nervous, I giggle. So, and I'm, I'm not, I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're trying to say to me. And um, so I'm going to repeat I, this to you. And if it's accurate, please tell me yes or no. You want me to tell you what the memory or event is that is blocking your ability to manifest? Yes. Yes. Okay. I get the first thing I hear is that it's a belief system, not a memory or an event. Now, belief systems are created in our childhood or they could be created in a past life. But this is a belief system. And I'm hearing this is a belief system that you were brought up with. So if we're talking about manifesting, then what I'm going to tell you is something you learned in your childhood is prohibiting you from moving past the mark you're at. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a clearing for you, for everybody listening, for everybody re-listening, and this clearing is at the 18 minute mark. And we're gonna clear anything blocking or stopping us from manifesting the best in life. Um, let's clear all of that away. And the other thing that I get for, for you is you, there's this almost, the word I hear is guilt. Now, this can mean a million different things to me. What it means to you is what it's going to mean to you. And I'm going to tell you that with, when we have guilt, no matter why we have this guilt or where it came from. It could be from taking a cookie we weren't supposed to take when we were two, okay? I, I, and I'm not even joking on that. I'm, I'm seriously not even joking on that. Um, and then we were reprimanded and it left such a, a trauma in us, okay? Um, whatever this guilt is that's stopping you is, is, is really, I'm just going to, I'm not even going to go any further on that. I'm just going to, I'm going to say, uh, we have guilt. I get a yes for you, list, for you, everybody listening, re-listening, re-watching. We're going to clear that. And as I start to clear that, and, and I have a lot of listeners and watchers who are highly sensitive to energy. And if you guys are feeling what I'm feeling, give me a heads up, give me a hands up, give me a yes on YouTube. 
Um, and I feel my head just spinning and my throat just shutting down and my heart is pounding so hard right now. So what I, I want to cry. So whatever it is that caused this guilt, and maybe it's every like everybody who's listening and watching right now, all of the guilt collectively, um, it's actually making me like want to shake, shake a little bit. Like my body is, is like, I'm trying not to let my body tremble or shake. So whatever this is, and it, you know what, when it happened, this is how you felt. Okay. For you, everybody listening, re-listening, whatever you're feeling right now or thinking if your head is spinning or dizzy or like not clear or you, your throat or your, you just feel like you're going to cry. When this incident happened, that's how it made you feel. That was your reaction to the incident that initiated this guilt in you. So you might go, well, I, I don't feel that. I don't remember that. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It's clearing out. If you feel it, it's going. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hoy vey. <laughs> Hoy vey. Oh, um, and thank you, Fawn, for, or thank you, Heather, for responding. And thank you for letting me know that yes you're you're releasing also i'm going to tell you that tomorrow and yeah i'm a little shaky on this one oh whatever this is by tomorrow you should wake up and feel relieved okay now for women especially and i don't i don't love this and women of a certain age especially we weren't brought up to be the breadwinners. We weren't brought up to be, you know, our parents thought generationally it would just continue the way it had. So we were brought up maybe without a focus on being successful and making the most and being okay with making the most and going for it, where boys traditionally have always been brought up to be you know, go for the top and make the most and it's okay to get money. And um, it, sometimes when women take that role, it, it's not looked at the same way it is when a man takes that role. It could be something as simple as that. I don't think it is, beautiful girl. I really don't think it is. I think it is something that goes, you know, I'm getting this as something that happened when you were four maybe five years old or started when you were four and went to when you were five years old. And it, it, it was very impactful in your life and it changed something. And if you, I hope whatever this is, I, I actually hope you don't remember because I wouldn't want you to have that memory come back to you. So I hope, I know that you might not, feel this or know of the change right now. I think in the morning when you wake up, you're going to feel relieved and you're just going to feel a little, a little different. Um, so I, I can't wait for you to feel that and to know that, that there are changes from this. And I, I, I hope this was helpful for you, love. Okay, I'm just going to go to the next person then, and you're welcome. 732. <laughs> 732, how can I help you today? Hi, good afternoon, Tony. This is Caroline from New Jersey. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I am great. So, my question is, um, I'm helping this student out in Africa. And he wants to go to a Bible college. Um, I actually have two away from the country that he's in. It's in Ethiopia. Does um, is that where he's supposed to be for a little while? Because he wants to come to the U.S. as well. Ooh, um, you know this is a really difficult. This is very, uh, so the first thing I hear is be careful. And the second thing I hear is oh, stop. Okay. 
Now, I don't know why I'm hearing this. You probably know better than I do why, but I hear be careful and stop. I'm hearing there's some possible deception with this situation. I don't know where, and I'm not, I'm not going to take the time to look at exactly where the deception is. If you know there's deception, you just let it go. I feel like uh, somebody is not being honest with you in this situation. I am hearing that you are being um, deceived. And um, there's a word that's uh, uh, whatever it is. But this is this is basically this is what I'm getting. And I'm, I'm sorry that this is what I'm getting. I wish there was a better answer. I don't feel, I feel like, here's what I'm going to tell you also. Okay. Your intentions okay. may be pure, but no, but, but the other yeah. person or people involved, they are not, they are not pure um, in their intentions in this situation. And I do feel like you need to really re-examine all of the moving parts of this. I do feel like okay. if, okay, okay, the other thing I'm getting is if somebody really wants to go to Bible school and they approach that Bible school, there are a lot of scholarships and grants in those Bible schools that will especially bring somebody from another country in. Um, you need to really look at all the moving parts of this. You need to remove yourself from this situation. You need to um, take a breath and allow okay. yourself to 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 pull back from this completely completely like i'm hearing sever the tie um i feel like there's some manipulation going on here and i'm i'm really sorry i don't like to say this but i'm happy i get to say it because in saying it hopefully it's going to help you and you're the person i i'm here to help right now it's you i'm here to help you so thank you i hope this was helpful oh. for you it is. I thank you so much because um, at the beginning there was uh, something, uh, I guess he came my way. You know, is he 22 or is he older? It doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, here's the thing I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm just going to say this and I, I'm going to then I, I'm going to have to like start getting ready. I, I'm going to have to start. Um, I'm going to say this to you. It, it doesn't matter. Don't here's where they get us every time when they are manipulating us or deceiving us is they leave us confused. And we're so, so busy trying to figure out that one little part or why or whatever. Yeah. Let all that go because that will keep you in it when we're trying to. If there are things that we are confused about, we need to hit the road, Jack. We need to be out of the situation, whether this is. um. If we're trying to help somebody in a relationship at work, there is no reason, no time, and no sense in any sort of confusion. We need to move into something yes. authentic and where we're not confused, okay? If you want to help somebody get yeah. through Bible school, make a donation to a Bible school that they can apply to somebody. This situation is not honest. It's not accurate. They are... Um, and I hate to say this, and I'm so sorry I'm going to say this. They're taking you for a ride. They're taking you for a ride. Now, I'm going to, and I'm I'm so sorry because I know your heart is so pure and you want to do the right thing. There are many ways to do the right thing. There are many, many ways to do the right thing. Um, like I said, if you want to help somebody get through Bible school, go to a Bible school and, and help in that way. Help set up a, a scholarship foundation that not only you, but other people can donate to to help them get through Bible school. There we go. Here's the answer.